Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will talk about how to create a PNR as a passenger name record. In order to do so, we need four things. We need a name and we need an itinerary and we need also a, some kind of contact element and a ticketing timeline. Let's walk through these steps, how we will get these things. Okay, we start with the name. Let's say we have a passenger, his name is uh, John Smith. All right. Okay, Mr. Smith wants to travel now in the 11th of October from Heathrow to Delhi in economy class. What do we get here? Let's pick this uh, British Airway flight here. All right, and we want to go back also, or not us, but Mr. Smith wants to go back uh, one week later from Delhi to London in the British Airways, with British Airways and economy class. And we get some flight here. Let's take that one maybe. All right. So now we have a name and an itinerary. What we need also is a ticketing timeline. In order to get that, we will write TKOK, -OK, and we have the row here with the ticketing timeline right now. Okay, we need some kind of um, uh, contact element. Let's enter an email address. We would write the APE and the dash, and we write an email address here. All right. Now we have the four elements. So, um, what can we do now? We can see if it works now to store these things in the PNR. And we do the ER command, which means end and retrieve. We would get a warning message here that there are some stuff missing, missing but that is not uh, relevant right now. This would be important if we want to issue a ticket. But let's now override that message by taking the ER command another time. And what happened now? Now you see that there is a number here, which is the record locator. And this is the important thing. That's what we want. This is the record locator. And this is to identify the booking, how to find the booking. And also for the passenger, when he wants to check in for his flight, he has to know this number in order to uh, yeah, check in and board the flight. Let's run through the things here again in the PNR. We have the name, we have also a, an itinerary, British Airways flight 143 in Y class on the 11th February. And what does that 7 here mean? It uh, means it's the seventh day of the week, so Sunday from London to Delhi. The status is holding confirmed and we will talk about that in another video. What does that mean? This should be from Terminal 5 at 11 a.m. and the arrival at 1.15 a.m. in the morning, the next day. That's why it's the plus one here. Um, on the way back, it's the British Airways flight from 256 in white class on the 19th February on a Monday, right? And um, from Delhi to London Heathrow, also status holding confirmed. Terminal 3, should that be? And 10.50 is the departure, 3.45 p.m. the arrival. We have here our contact element and we have the ticketing timeline. And later on we will see what we will do with that PNR. We can from here, for example, price the PNRs. We can see what does that cost. And we can also add additional elements. Let us also uh, add the phone number. Uh, we can add the for. Uh, phone number for the, p this is just some fictional phone number here of course, and we can save it again, and we get that error message or that warning, and then we sa save again. And uh, later on we would add more elements to that PNR, but let's have it here to work with it from here. Alright, that was uh, it for today, and that was it for today, and see you in the next video.